welcome to another video. Today we are back on the Glasgow subway and we're going to be doing the service disruption route. We're going to get straight into this video. No faffing around or whatever. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, more of this will come out in the future if it gets the views and whatever. And people want more. Service disruption. This evening your train will form service one on the inner circle. As another inner circle service is experiencing technical issues at Ibrox, we will be starting our passenger service at Govan. Prepare your train and drive in manual mode to depot line 2, where you will change cabins and reverse to your first station stop at Govan. Be careful. ...is in the platform at Govan before opening the do passenger doors. That is our task today. So we are going to wait for the brakes to finish. We need to put our headlights on. Put some dim lights. Put it into forward. Parking brake off. Saloon lights on. That, that'll be more useful for later. And we depart. So we are going to be heading to uh, St. Enoch. Is that Enoch? I hope it is. We're going to be stopping at Govan Inner, Ibrox. So we're going to be turning around at Govan and switching cab once again into, uh, and then we're going to be going to Ibrox. This should be a very interesting route. Probably won't be doing too much talking either. It's got some good sounds, this route. It's very good. We are now approaching um, Depot Line 2. We're going to apply some brakes and stop at the three car stop there. Well, if I know how to stop, that is. <laughs> right, let's bring that down so we've got um, the tail lights on only. And we're going to put the parking brake on. We are going to switch cab, like so. We're going to take the parking brake off. We are now in control. Dim headlights for now. Let's set these to bright. And um, the head li little headlamp, that's the little light there. I'm not sure why that's used. If anyone knows, let me know. I'd be very intrigued to know. And we can depart. Yeah, this route is very good. I love it. It's very nice. And it's actually been really highly requested as well, which I'm amazed at. Because it's such a... I mean, it's such a simple route. Great features, though, like the radio PA, or passenger announcement, or whatever it is. Um, I can click it, and it doesn't work until we are actually in the system and like properly in service another thing is i'm in parallel at the minute the train is staying under the speed limit another one there look uh and another thing is automatic train operation which i will be demonstrating properly in this video if you haven't seen last week's video i recommend checking it out 
it's a t it's, it's tutorial video, so if you're still not understanding after the actual tutorial in game, head on over there or just watch it. And um, it might be something you like or enjoy. I seem to be liking the Glasgow subway at the minute. It's very, very good. Like, listen to the air sound as we speed up and head towards Govan. So we're just crossing the track now onto the inner line. <laughs> just have to check that. So we're going to speed up now. There we go. Speed limit change. We won't be uh, going fast for that long. And um, we are now entering... Govan! And we should now be in the platform. Perfect. And bring it to a stop. Like so! Open sesame the doors. Got all three carriages open there. Now we're going to headlights off, but we're going to keep the tail lights on. And that's going to stay dim. Turn this into off. Parking brake on. Headlamp off. And we are going to be switching to the other cab. It's going to be an automatic train operation. Um, yeah, that is everything. Headlights, bright instrument lights, and we will be departing shortly. So yeah, I mentioned automatic train operation. Set the train into A on the reverser, so that's just one click. Second click is forward, so manual mode. M is neutral, R is reverse, that should be pretty straightforward. But the uh, train has now... Oh no, hang on. Yep, okay, so that will just let you know that the train's ready for automatic train operation. We have the auto permit and the auto drive ready. We can now click the auto start button. Located here, 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 or here. And the train will now drive fully automatically. Just listen to the tunnel and track sounds as well. Really good sound. Very impressed. There's another train, look. It's so good because it's such a high speed line. Also, the automatic train operation system will actually stop the train in front of red signals. As you can see, this auto early. That means the signal, then or the next signal, is at danger. Also known as red. So the train stops pretty far away. I've seen it closer before. But um, you can try and activate the train. And it won't move. On any of them. Nothing will happen. We can talk to our passengers while we wait. Let the light flood in a little bit there. Get a bit of... Tunnel air in. But no, all we do is we wait for this signal and the train will just automatically dispatch off again. We don't need to we don't need to click the button again. This light, I believe, also turns off. But now we wait. And there we go. No buttons were pressed. The compressor's gone on. And the train's off again. Very quick and easy. Gosh, it's a bit bright in here. So as you can tell, I have absolutely zero idea of as to where the train is right now from the station. 
So it just proves another way that the train is in automatic. It's not pre-recorded either. And this station is Ibrox. Open the doors. We'll sit in this view. Notice that red signal there as well. This train won't leave on that signal. Sounds like there's a train coming. No, there's a train in front of us. Going super slow. So until that train clears that next station, we are sat here. If you see anything suspicious, report it to our staff or the police immediately. There's also emergency brake pulls. They actually work. Um, I'm not sure if... Oh, no, it will work. Yeah, so we can sit in the middle carriage as well. Or we can sit in the end one. So if I switch to the rear cab, go to this view here. You can just really nicely just tell where you're at. Very big windows as well, which I've noticed. I still have to dispatch the train, but uh, yeah. Oops. Here we are. I'm gonna drive in manual. Oh, look at that perfect timing. I'm gonna drive in man at manuals at the next stop. Need a bit of cab light. So I can, so I can see where the controller, the throttle brake lever is. As we slowly channel down here. Let's do a bit of coasting. The next station is... Cessnock. Bring the brakes all the way in. And this station is Cessnock. This train does not terminate here. Kenning Park, next stop. Kenning Park is the next stop. Kenning Park, next stop. Not, oh yeah, that's the uh, Radio PA announcement as well, by the way. Very good feature. Is there a train? No, not yet. But this train's now leaving, so we should get the green. There it is. Gosh, we've got a while before we leave. Let's put the train back into automatic. I wonder if the drivers in real life change between the reverser. So if they want to drive a station, then they drive one. And if they want ATO station, they do that. And then they swap each time. That might be, in that might be interesting. Got some nice little vent fans as well for the interior. There we go. And we can click the auto start button. And the train then leaves. the darkness. 
we go. Uh, there's the red signal coming up. As you can tell by the auto early. And the, uh, as you can tell, this is a pretty good stop. That is a, that is a fast entrance there. Very well done to the ATA system. Now the, there's, I believe there's only a couple of buttons that don't work in this train. Fault reset. Train couple and uncouple, and the doors open and close, and I guess that's the master key. I'm not sure, though. But yeah, that's an open, that's a closed button, and they don't work. That must mean that the doors are automatic, about choosing what side they're on. Unless the driver has to physically get up and walk over here to open this side. And the same on that side. So, oh, maybe... Maybe that's where they introduced ATO at that time as well. Who knows? Don't trip. You might fall over. Let's drive in manual once again. Train's already in forward, so it'll just go. A uh, very interesting tunnel um, lining as well, which I've noticed. I'm not sure if, like, that was because this tunnel was redone or is newer or older. Next stop is Shields Road. And our terminus is in two kilometers. The speed limit actually changes here. So we can only go in kilometers, even though it is part of uh, the United Kingdom. I believe. The Central Line or Victoria Line, or both of them, uh, in London, run the same way. But I'm, I'm not sure. Well, that was an awful stop. I see why they hired ATO. Couple more seconds now till departure. Uh, we are stopping at uh, here. We got three stops. Little eight here departure. See the uh, the light from the saloons on the surface of the tunnel. That is really nice. Right, um, and yes, this is how we get to the next station. So they had actually already thought of that. But it's really cool to see the train come around the corner. The way it does. This is West Street, by the way. So if you if this does look good, <laughs> and you want to come here. In real life, even. Look at that.
And um, we open the doors, or the user opens the doors. We're actually quite early. All thanks to automatic train operation. Oh dear. Oh yeah, no, I just realised that. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh dear. Ah, that just completely ruined it. Perfect all the way through. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, I'm going to have to get back to the point and um, that will cue a time lapse because that is pro. <laughs> First time I uh, accidentally went, uh, yeah, first time I went accidentally went through a uh, red signal while in manual mode. So um, yeah, that wasn't very smart. But we're gonna try 
again. <laughs> and um, hope we don't hope we don't mess it up again. Our next signal will be green. So we don't run the issue of having to or, or accidentally overrunning and and then uh, I do. <laughs> God, that was awful. Oh, right. So the doors on the other carriages are open. And we are terminating at the next station. My PAs don't want to work. That's fine. Not a problem. West Street, next stop. Oh, we don't terminate the next stop. No, hang on, this isn't right. Next stop, West Street. West Street's not our next stop. <laughs> it's broken. No, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Hopefully something the developers can look back on and realise. So our next signal is red. And we're passing another train. Here's the station. And there's our train. Ooh, let's not do that. This train terminates here. Please leave the train. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Someone else, I believe, takes over this train. Wow, so yeah, that was the, um... That was the route. Minus my little hiccup. <laughs> That was a bit um, strange, but yeah. Well done, driver. That was a successful journey. Yeah, it only took like three attempts. Well, very good. Very well done to me. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. It definitely helps me out a lot. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.